This is KCRA 3 News at 5. Well, thanks for joining us at 5. Another sign of safety concerns on Sacramento streets as a Starbucks is the latest national chain business to close in Land Park. Yeah, the coffee shop's located on 15th Avenue and Broadway. It's an area that has seen an increase in criminal activity, which has caused many nearby residents to avoid this area. Yeah, certain areas there on Broadway are now being declared so dangerous that stores are now closing. As a result, the latest one to go, that's the Starbucks. That's at Broadway and 15th. And they used to have a security guard there even for a time. So that's where KCRA 3's Aaron Heff joins us with what the city and police are saying about this closure. Aaron? Yeah, yeah, evening guys. This quarter used to just be booming with business. They used to have a Jamba Juice here. Now the Starbucks is gone. There used to be big umbrellas where people could sit on the patio here. That's just not the case anymore. And officials say that this is a failure on multiple levels. We talk about what we're going to do in the community, but it seems like nothing's getting done. And so these are the, the effects of it. First Jamba Juice and now Starbucks closed. Does it surprise you? Um. Kind of, then not really because we are downtown. This, to some, a troubling sign of what's happening in Sacramento. Just basically, we're trying to dumbify anything that could be done against us, trying to childproof the outside just to, you know, prevent drawing people to our establishment that are undesirable. Michael Sampino is owner of Sampino's across the street. He says theft in the area is astounding. If somebody's hungry, they need toilet paper, a Gatorade, chips and whatnot, chocolate bar, they go into Walgreens like loaves and fishes, help themselves walk out and go back to their, their camp, alleviate the problem where they get free product and that's the only reason they're sitting on this corner. Sacramento police told KCRA since the beginning of August, they've responded to six narcotic related calls in the area and security guards that work Broadway near 15th said this parking lot acts as a drug market. Starbucks now choosing to permanently close the location that sits here. A Starbucks spokesperson said, in part, our stores are windows into America, and every day our partners witness the challenges facing our communities. Challenges to personal safety and security, racism, a growing mental health crisis, and issues magnified by COVID. Council member for the area, Katie Valenzuela, says when they opened up the Miller Park safe area, the 60 spots were offered to the people who live under this free Way. She said she told Caltrans. They did not take us up on that offer. And in fact, when they moved the camp off of this on ramp that had frankly been there for many, many months, if not a couple of years, people dispute when it first arrived, they, we did not get any warning whatsoever. And um, we got a call from one of the businesses, the 76 station owner, saying, oh my gosh, what just happened? Because Caltrans basically just sent them straight across the street. In July, the massive encampment here was cleared by Caltrans. The people who live here, instead of being given shelter, spread out across the area. Area. It's incredibly frustrating to be the jurisdiction that's not offering substance abuse resources or mental health resources to continue to ask our sister jurisdiction, hey, can you please help us? The Department of Community Response, who help in homelessness related Sacramento calls, said in part, DCR will continue to do our work, offering people resources and encouraging them to have less impact on the businesses and homes near where they're living. But the question is, where do people go? Valenzuela says they've maxed out their available resources. They've opened as many beds as they can. She's now encouraging people to contact the county of Sacramento because the city does not have the resources to address the crisis alone. I am feeling incredibly frustrated because this is the impact of multiple systems failing, multiple jurisdictions failing, and it's incredibly upsetting to see businesses shut down in our community, especially businesses that were so popular um, when this was so preventable. Starbucks told me that this is the first location in all of Northern California to have to close because of neighborhood safety concerns. In Sacramento, in the Land Park neighborhood, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News. Aaron, thank you.